Joined by Hofstra head coach Joe Mihalik following his team's first practice of the 2014-15 campaign. Coach, simple question, how was the practice? It was good. We, you, you know, that first practice, you're looking for a lot of enthusiasm, and, and we certainly had that. Um, kids played really hard. They really comp competed. Um, you know, if your first practice can't be a good one, you're in, for, you're in for a long year. So it was a good one. We just got to make sure you only get 30 practices, and it sounds like a lot, but they go fast. We got to make sure we can build on this one. You know, people have talked regularly about there's a lot of new guys on this team, but there really isn't. So is 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 that process not as much as people think it is? I mean, the four guys all practiced for last year, so is, is there not as much of an acclimation pro project here to put forth? Real, really good point. I mean, there are we, we could we could start five people that didn't start last year. I don't know who we're going to start, but there are a lot of new guys. And you're right, the four guys were here last year. Now, to their credit, this is the most wonderful thing. They worked so hard last year that they didn't skip a peat. They don't look rusty. They don't look. I mean, they did a great job last year working uh, uh, during the off, during their off season to be uh, to be good now. So they're good, and and even our freshmen uh, and new players. Malik Nichols is a junior college transfer, so he's got some miles on his tires. And Rokas Gustis as a freshman is he's beyond his years. He he was one of the best players on the floor today. A uh, coach Mahalik practice is a constant constant move, and there's no standing around. Do you feel like guys feed off that? Is that a, is that what made you like bring that concept towards your practices? Well, I think I, I think I learned through the years that if you if you stop and do a lot of talk, you have to teach and talk. That you can the guys just the, the, the wind comes out of their sails and the practice slows down. So we want to keep it moving and we want to do the talking before and the talking after and and, and put the new stuff in after practice and at the end of practice and then do it the next day. Despite a new roster, you do have a lot of upperclassmen, whether it's Musa Kone as a four, the only four-year senior or the six-year graduate player, Dion Nesmith, or your Niagara transfers. Can you talk about how those guys and your leaders of the team are helping uh, get your team ready for the year? Yeah, they've been great. They, they, um, they lead by example. Uh, I always tell them that I talk to them about being good leaders, and, they, and they're willing and able to take that role on. But I also say just be yourself. Be yourself. You want your leaders to be liked and respected, not just one or the other, liked and respected. And, you know, our leaders, if you ask me to point them out, I'd say they're Dion Nesmith and Musa Kone and Wanye Green and Amin Tanksy. Those four guys seem to be, you know, our leaders a little more than the others. It was only three hours or two hours, whatever it was today. Was there anybody in particular that really stood out today in your first practice? Well, we had three or four guys that really, really played well. I mean, Amin Tanks was, was terrific today. Rokas Gustis had a great practice for a freshman. Eliel Gonzalez was was very, very good today. And, and, and you just, you know, I, you could ask me every day about Wanye Green. He's always going to be one of the best players out there. On to day two tomorrow. Coach, good luck with the preseason, and the season's only a month away. Can't wait. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach.